An exciting but important Fujifilm firmware update. Hi everyone, welcome to Pal the Tech. Today Fujifilm launched a firmware update for the following cameras. The X-H2 and X-H2S, the X-T5, the X-S20, and the X-106. Also, there's been an update for the GF 80mm f1.7 lenses. Alright, so if you don't follow my buddy over on uh, Pal Detect, you need to. It's, it's like the best channel. It's my actual go-to channel for anything Fuji related as far as equipment. Um, he does a fantastic job of um, letting you know when there's a new firmware update, what does it include, you know, what uh, you need to know about, you know, certain settings and, you know, blah, blah, blah. His channel is actually really, really good. I'm not going to lie. Every time I get a new piece of gear or there's a new firmware update, I do go to his channel to make sure um, I'm doing it right or if it's worthy of the upgrade. Um, that being said, he's right. There is a firmware upgrade for the X-H2S like I have and X-T5 and a couple other ones. And mainly my main concern lately has been uh, the focusing. Um, it seems like two firmwares ago, it was nailing focus, and then the last one I upgraded, it seemed like it dropped off. It, it was kind of diminishing, to be honest with you, because I'm doing client work, and I can tell while I'm working when it's hitting and when it's not. And you get the green boxes that follow the face and the eyes. Unbelievable. But you get back on the computer, and uh, it's not razor sharp. And I'm like, come on, man. Is it me? Like, you know, am I moving? Because a lot of times people take for granted that if your shutter speed is not fast enough, when you're moving and working or even just breathing, <laughs> you know, you're moving, um, if your shutter speed is not fast enough, according to the lens you're using on the camera, you could have a little bit of motion happening and not really realizing it. You think you're rock solid straight, but you're not. And uh, that could be a big deal. But when you're sitting like this and you're doing some random tests like around the house, towards the kitchen, towards whatever it is, and it's not nailing focus, something's wrong with that. So last night I did do the firmware upgrade for this camera and thank you Jesus, things are back to being um, sharp again. And I'm not gonna lie here, I was kinda shopping other camera brands to maybe trade this guy in for Maybe the new Nikon or maybe even a Sony. I would I would rent something first before I bought anything. But my point is, you know, other brands seem to have a better grip on their focusing abilities. And um, I'm exhausted of Fuji kind of bouncing all over the place, no pun intended. Um, that being said, it does nail focus a lot better. Uh, this image here, this, this image here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it up on the screen was direct sunlight and I underexposed the sunlight because that flower was glowing white. Look at this. Let me see, what was my setting? I was at one thousandth of a second at F13 with my uh, Viltrox 75. ISO was way down at 320. And check this out. Look at that. And, and this was 100% full sun, all out in the open. And I'm, I'm actually blown away on how this looks, but this guy was what I was exposing for. He was glowing light, bright, and I darkened that sucker down by cranking the f-stop down, but look at the rest of this image. Is that impressive? That's from the X-H2S. Now, some weird things that I do see happening here. I don't know what the hell this is. See how it looks like, like muddy smooth or smudge watch see how it's kind of like right there i think it's just the fall off honestly of where the focusing point is you know it's it's wild but anyway how cool of an image is this and this is not flash my friends that is straight up direct sunlight i know it seems like a very simple image but look how something simple can look so creative by just exposing your scene the correct way wasn't that cool okay so look so when you have your camera turned off, hold your display button down, keep it, keep holding it down, turn it on, okay? And what's gonna come up is the firmware edition. So if you do the new version to get you upgraded, um, my body version is 7.0. 
Uh, 7.0 for me is working with exposure. Even on, and by the way, on continuous focus, my wife in the kitchen, she was cooking with my other daughter and I was on continuous focus. I had her on face detect, on eye detect, and I was just snapping, holding it and snapping. And I'll be darned if not eight out of 10 shots were sharp. And the two that weren't was because I think I either didn't squeeze correctly or they were in movement. You know, it kind of goes back to the first thing I was telling you. Just because you think you're holding still, it doesn't mean that you are. All right, so go follow Pal Detect. He's awesome. I'm gonna put his link down below. Um, if you're a new Fuji owner and you don't know where to get all of your amazing content for Fuji besides myself, seriously go to his channel and subscribe immediately because um, he is, honest to God, the uh, god of Fuji on YouTube right now. He is um, awesome at getting all the correct info in front of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you to Pal to Tech. <laughs> so this is your PSA for the weekend. Happy Friday. You guys have a great weekend. New video coming out uh, next week. I have a chemical plant that I'm photographing on Monday and I rented the GFX 102. I did before for some food photography I did for the Hyatt Hotel. Um, rented it again for this job because uh, it's a big deal. It's a very big deal. I wanted to have the, uh, the best quality image so later down the road, no matter what size they decide on printing this thing at conventions or social media or slideshow projection, it doesn't matter. I wanted to give them a file size that was worthy of future use rather than the right now use. And that is why I love renting my gear from which, by the way, hold on, which, by the way, Biro Lenses and Lens Rental joined. Did you know that? They are now the same company. I'm not sure if they're going to rename anything or just leave as is. They're just letting us know, hey, we are one entity now. So more variety of equipment is, uh, is coming. But being able to rent $12,000 worth of gear for 600 bucks, that's impressive, you know? And I love being able to get the kind of equipment I need when I need it, and I don't have to go buy it and it comes completely out of my pocket, you know? So anyway, see you in the next video.